guys, welcome back to, to another video, and today we are going to be doing another video of islands, and sorry for, um, like, not making this, or, um, I, sorry for not posting for, like, two and a half weeks, um, I was just kind of doing school, because, you know, kids have school, that's a thing kids have, okay, so, um, what I just did is, uh, I just got rid of all of them, and then I put it into, and then I just, uh, left one, because I'm, I changed it up, up a little bit, so, um, uh, I changed the, uh, material to grass, because I just thought it looked a little bit better, I was just thinking, hmm, this looks a lot better, and then also another thing is, um, I'm going to set the position to zero by zero by zero, and the reason for this is because, um, I want, or for this, for what I'm doing right now, is, uh, I need it to, um, the position to be, everything needs to be a multiple of four for it to work. Also, I just did that. Okay, <laughs> I just, I just duplicated the root. That's very useful. I just, um, whoa, hold tab to summon the hand, to summon handles. Handles? I'm holding tab. Huh? Okay, that was weird. Um, I have, uh, I downloaded the new version of Roblox Studio, or it had to update. So, this is weird. <laughs> Summoning handles does nothing. Can I do, oh, what was that? I don't know what summoning handles does. But that is okay. So I'm just going to quickly create a little platform. Uh, like that. And wait, let's see where I spawn. Okay. Let's just make a quick spawn point. Wait, where did I put the spawn location? Position zero zero. Okay, so I should spawn here, right? Yeah. Okay, and I think I should make this a twelve by twelve. Okay, it is a twelve by twelve. Okay, so it should be the exact same size as this. Okay. So, um, what we're going to be doing today is, uh, changing up the building system to make it a little bit more accessible for things that we might do in the future. So, uh, let's just start with, um, the find pause function. Uh, let's just get rid of all this and say if mouse.target then, so we're just saying if mouse.target is a thing, then we're going to make a unit ray. And we're going to set that equal to, uh, oh wait, we need to add camera. Okay, so, oops. Local camera is equal to workspace, oh my gosh. Workspace dot camera, current camera. So we're going to uh, do unit ray is equal to camera, screen point to ray. And um, oops, mouse dot x and mouse dot y. Okay. Oh my gosh. Then we're gonna say local um, raycast params, and we're gonna set that equal to raycast params dot new. And we're gonna say um, ray. Actually, let's just do it right here. Raycast params or oops. Raycast. Okay, it's just not showing up, so we're just gonna have to type it out. Raycast params dot filter uh, filter type is equal to enum dot uh, filter raycast filter type dot blacklist, and we're gonna say um uh, what is that? Okay, raycast Params, 
items dot filter um filter descend okay i don't want to have to type this descendants i think that's how you type it yeah descendants instances instances okay and we're gonna set that equal oops equal to char and um object okay so now we're gonna say uh local ray is equal to um uh what's it workspace ray cast and we're gonna raycast uh unit ray dot or oh, unit ray dot origin and um unit ray dot direction and um we're going to multiply that by 250 and the 250 is how many studs away you can um do it so i'm just going to do 250 and then we're going to do ray cast params okay now we're going to say if ray if ray then and we're going to say return uh ray dot posi position um ray dot ray dot ins in stance and um ray dot normal ray dot why do i keep doing comma okay so now we're just going to change that in a couple spots so position target normal and in here we're going to give the position the target and the normal and we're going to go down to here and we're just going to say position I just want to change it to position because that'll be better. Position, target, nor oops, normal. And um, we can just get rid of this. And we can say if position and target and normal, then. So if we have all of that, then. We are going to say um, local x is equal to 4, and I'll explain this later, 4 times math dot floor, um, uh, what's it, position dot x divided by 4 plus 0.5. Okay, so what this is doing is basically just rounding to the nearest 4, and how it's doing that is it's multiplying um well let's just do this first it's uh math dot flooring position dot x so if position dot x was like let's say it was five if you divide that by four and then add point five um and you math dot floor that and then multiply by four it would get you four you know actually i'll just get out a calculator because I'll, it'll be i'll be able to explain it better if I just get out a calculator. Okay. So, four, uh, what am I doing? Okay, so five divided by four is 1.25. And then if you add 0.5, that'll be 1.75. And um, if you multiply that by four, wait, no, 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 no. If, you, if it's 1.75, wait. Okay, I think I, hmm, wait. I'm thinking about this. That will make it go to 8. Well, if it's there. That actually kind of makes sense in a way. But then it doesn't make sense. Wait. I'm just going to see what it does if it's not. If you don't add 0.5. Because. I don't know. I, I did this before. And it worked that way. But. um, If this works better than i'll just keep it like this okay so we're going to do local rounded uh pause is equal to vector three dot new x y z oops and we're going to say if 
rounded pause and normal because we really need normal for this so if rounded pause and normal we're going to say local end pause and we're not going to set it because we're going to set it um now we're going to say if normal dot x is less than zero or normal uh dot uh y is less than zero or normal dot um z is less than zero then we'll set end pause uh, to rounded pause um, plus normal times four. Okay, and then if it's not, then we're just gonna set end pause to rounded pause, and yeah, <laughs> why'd I say rounded pause instead of rounded pause? That was weird. That was just weird voice stuff. Okay. So, object set primary part C frame. And we're going to set this equal to C frame dot new. Uh, end pause. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, let's just test that out real quick. Let's see if that looks good. Wait. Oh, I understand why we need that because um right here would be um this part right here would be the um would be where it's supposed to be. And if I move over here, it would think that it's closer to this. So if I move it over here, then it's closer to this point. But if I move it over here, then it's closer to this point. Okay, so now I understand why I did that. Because I did this, I made this script like um, a couple days ago. Okay. Hopefully you understand um, what I'm talking about. Hopefully I'm not just mumbling to myself. But yeah. Now it works. Nice. Okay. So, uh, I'll just get rid of that. Okay, so now we can actually just copy this whole entire thing. We can just copy that. And then go into script. And here we can say pause target normal. And here, instead of doing this, we can do that. And um, let's copy. Actually, let's just say position and object let's say block okay and then pause let's say position okay <laughs> that should be all if i'm not mistaken that should work as intended oh uh, okay well that doesn't work because there is a um there is a thing up there so that's why that doesn't work if you're wondering See if I can. No, I can't. Okay. That is fine. Wait, what was that? I saw something weird. Did that just lag? Wait. I think that was just lag. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, well, that will be it for today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.